dear students dr gulam farid is here with another lecture entitled arrows and stereochemical notation used in organic chemistry what are the types of arrows in organic chemistry there are seven types of arrow the first one is the reaction arrow or forward arrow the second is equilibrium arrow the third is resonance arrow the fourth is dashed reaction arrow the fifth is curved arrow or electron pushing arrow the sixth is retrosynthetic arrow and the seventh is broken arrow now uh, let's see the explanation of these arrows uh, first one is the reaction arrow or forward arrow now you are saying this is a reactant which is converted into the product and this is arrow which shows the action of reactant towards the reactant means how this uh, reactant is converted into this product this arrow normally used for general purpose and showing the action of the reaction uh, how the product is uh, reactant is converted into the product the arrows shows the action known as reaction arrow or forward arrow now the equilibrium arrow you are seeing here the equilibrium arrow this is equilibrium arrow reaction goes reversibly between reactant and product these two arrows are equal means 50% toward the reactant 50% toward the product in the next reaction you are seeing the equilibrium strongly favor the product when this half arrow is longer than longer toward the product means it strongly favor the product when this arrow longer toward reactant means equilibrium strongly favor reactants in the third the resonance arrow this resonance is between nitro benzene this double headed arrow is known as <coughs> resonance arrow nitro group is in resonance molecule with resonance isomerism the fourth is the dash reaction arrow how the a is converted to b what reaction what reactant you needed for the conversion of a into b this is dash arrow this dashed arrow known as known for the theoretical step of the reaction the fifth the curved arrow or electron pushing arrow when you are seeing the double headed curved arrow this means it is a pushing of lone pair of electron toward the electron deficient species here you can see the double headed curved arrow this is also double headed curved arrow but it is straight this is known as forward arrow as i have told you in uh, first type of organic uh, arrows when you see single headed curved arrow it means pushing of single electron this is possible in normally uh free radical reactions this is single headed arrow single headed curved arrow the retrosynthetic arrow means this arrow as you are seeing this arrow is known as retrosynthetic arrow this arrow is used when reverse of the reaction arrow is also is also known as reverse of the reaction arrow used in planning of the synthesis means how this product can be synthesized from these possible reactant this is possible in natural product chemistry when you isolate some unknown compounds and you don't know how they will be synthesized then retrosynthesis will be done for that molecule 
to know the possible uh, reactants for synthesis of that molecule the seventh is the broken arrow this arrow with double line or crossed arrow cross arrow is uh, known as broken arrow this means you have tried the reaction but the reaction was not successful now the stereochemical notations in stereochemical notations the bridge substituent this is bridge this is bridge this is also this is bridge substituent known as above the plane when this is filled with black this means above the plane when the bridge substituent is shown by dashed wedges like structure this is wedges this is known as below the plane these arrow shows below the plane of the paper in this structure you are seeing above the plane and this is don't know above the plane or below the plane this can be possible in both above the plane or bo uh, below the plane this is a mixture of stereo isomer means r and s configuration if you know the mixture of isomerism here alpha glucoside alpha means the first carbon in the six member ring if the group is attached vertically this mean alpha if this group is horizontally this is beta glycoside dear students hope you understand my lecture thank you very much please like and subscribe my channel organic chemistry lectures keep watching my youtube channel for latest lectures in the next lecture i will tell you about how to write the organic reaction mechanism pushing of uh, electrons either lone pair of electron either single electron inshallah i will told you in the le next lecture uh, about uh, electrophiles nucleophiles basicity and uh, acidity thank you very much